Hi kids! Today we will learn about soil. So let's start. Soil is the topmost layer of earth, or the skin of earth, which is mainly made up of a mixture of minerals, small or big rock particle, clay, water and organic matter. This topmost layer of earth is responsible for all the life on earth. As almost all types of plants grow in this layer of the earth. And we know ultimate source of food for all living things is plants. Now let's learn the components of soil. First is the organic matter. It is dead and decaying plant and animal remains. Then is the nutrients and minerals. Nutrients are substances that all living things need in order to grow. And minerals? Mineral are the nutrients found in soil, and it comes from the different types of rocks in soil. Air and water. Air and water are present inside the soil pores. During dry season, air is more in the soil, and during wet season, water is more inside the soil. Microorganisms and small animals. Small living organisms like worms, ants, termites, gastropods, anthropods, and nematodes are there in the soil. So kids, we learned the components of soil. Now let's learn some important functions of soil. It stores minerals. Soil contains various minerals that act as the nutrients for the plants. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Soil contains both organic and inorganic mineral matters. Inorganic minerals are derived from weathering of rocks, and they can be magnesium, sodium, potassium, iron, aluminum, sulfur, chlorine, and organic minerals are derived from decaying plant and animal remains. Inorganic minerals provide calcium to the plant, whereas organic minerals provide nitrogen to the plant. Water provides hydrogen to the plants. Air provides carbon dioxide to the plants. Soil stores water. Soils consist of particles and pores, and these pores can be filled with air, but also with water. The amount of pores in a soil is different for different types of soil. The process of water entering the soil is called infiltration. When the soil has taken up all the water, it can, we say that it is saturated. Soil purifies water. When rainwater passes through different layers of soil, it filters out the water and purifies it. Soil works as a physical strainer, a biochemical renovator, and a biological recycler for all waste water passing through it. Soil acts as a habitat for many types of organisms. Soil is the habitat of both macro and micro organisms. Macro organisms are worms, rodents, and insects. Micro organisms are fungi, bacteria, algae, and protozoa, etc. And these macro and micro organisms are very important. 
Earthworm aerate the soil. That is create spaces for air in the soil. And also helps to disintegrate and mix its constituents by passing large quantities of soil through their bodies and ejecting the same on the surface as worm casts. The quantity of soil passed through the bodies of earthworms is enormous. It is estimated that earthworm transport about 10 tons of soil per acre per year. The soil ejected by the earthworms possesses better fertility than the original soil. This activity of earthworms leads to the transfer of soil from the lower layers to the surface. The small burrows created by the earthworms provide the facility of aeration and drainage in the soil. Soil is the medium for plant growth. Soil is the medium that fulfills all the requirements of a plant for its growth. There are other mediums too. Plants can grow in water and some aerated nutrient solutions too. But the main and most common medium for plants to grow is definitely soil. Let's see requirements of a plant that are met by soil. Mechanical support. Roots anchored in the soil enable growing plants to remain erect. Plants stand erect because of the hold exerted by the soil on plant roots. Nutrient supply. Roots go deeper into the soil in search of nutrients, water, and air. Air and water supply. Soil acts as a reservoir of water and air. Plant absorbs water through their roots. From this reservoir, roots breathe in oxygen from the air stored in soil mass. Heat or warmth of the soil helps in rapid decomposition of litter, thus enable faster release of nutrients. The soil also stores the sun heat and supplies it to the growing plants. Soil is necessary for producing many things, almost everything that we use in our daily lives. All the fruits, vegetables that we eat, which are all supported by soil. Even the clothes we wear. Most of the clothes we wear comes from cotton, and the cotton comes from cotton plants, and cotton plants are grown in soil. So many baskets, carry bags, are made up of jute, and jute too grows in soil. Erasers you use comes from rubber, and Rubber, too, comes from a tree that grows in soil. The tea we drink comes from tea leaves, so it's, too, a plant that grows in soil. The milk we drink comes from a cow, and what does this cow eat? It eats grass, which, too, is a plant supported by soil. So there is no end to the uses of soil. So kids, today we learned a lot about soil. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.